Fungi are a very important part of the food system. They're a very important part of the ecological cycle. They're basically those, those primary and secondary decomposers that cycle nutrients, making them available to a whole suite of microorganisms. Here we've got a beautiful little mushroom pile. So this pile has been covered with wet straw to keep it nice and moist and humid in here. That white that you see, and as we get closer to the logs, you see even more of it. Look at all that beautiful mycelium. That's a sign that the pile is doing really well. Here is the actual log that we've inoculated. We want it to run the whole first year. Once we have that mycelium has run throughout the log, and then what we'll do is we'll plant these vertical within the garden, and that's when they'll start fruiting for us. With this project, we weren't able to find moldy straw, so we were actually getting fresh straw that was quite loaded with seed. If you can't find old moldy straw, then get your straw in advance, let it sit out in the rain, let all of that seed germinate so that you're not basically sowing a bunch of seed from a crop that you don't want in your garden. This is not the way people would usually be scything because um, all I'm trying to cut here is these barley heads because I don't want them to finish out and seed the crater garden with barley next year. So these heads are not done. They, they, I mean this one still is quite early on and this one did not get enough water. So because we pulled the early stuff, nothing here has had time to develop. But we had concerns about making the soil too acidic. So what we did is we brought in straw. We weren't able to find moldy straw and the straw that we did bring in had in a ton of seed. I want to leave a nice thick cover on the ground going into winter, stabilizing it for spring runoff next year. I just don't want the barley in here. When you get into projects like this, you are rewilding the landscape. You're, you're cultivating it and growing things that you want for food and medicine and value, but you're also letting the landscape really rewild itself and develop more of a natural diversity like what used to be in place. This may look like a nice cup of coffee, but I can assure you, you do not want to drink this. Uh, this is some of the infamous bone sauce. It's basically pyrolysis of bone marrow. I've got a mason jar that actually has the bone sauce in it, essentially heating up inside of this coffee pot. Woo! <laughs> it's almost the smell of death to herbivores. You're just giving each tree one flick, putting the smell of death on it. It triggers to them that something died here, maybe there's a poisonous plant, maybe there's a predator. There's some rotting dead body located right by this tree and so maybe you really don't want to be eating it. So another nice thing about the Crater Garden, for maintenance it actually, the continuous spiral keeps it real easy to know where you are within the garden. Whenever I'm doing something, I'll just essentially walk the spiral and then I know that I've hit every tree or bush in the area. So here we are at the Crater Garden. It's late February. So far the bone sauce has been working pretty well. We certainly still have deer coming in. They occasionally browse the tops, but very minimal compared to what we'd usually be seeing. I'm pretty happy with the way it's working. You can see the south facing slopes have already been melting, and that's from that incline so that it's really facing the low summer or low winter sun and gaining that solar irradiance fully. Here you can really see the huge benefit that the stones are providing. Taking in that solar energy, storing it and warming the surrounding earth, melting the snow. Even though it's probably 15 degrees outside today, you can actually stick a shovel in the ground because the ground is thawed. And so that's amazing. That's providing us a big benefit in terms of nutrient cycling. And this is the first part of the garden we're gonna be able to work in the spring. For more videos about crater gardens, water restoration, and permaculture, visit us at elementalecosystems.com.